Hey guys, it's Dave Kim from 97.9 GRD, Grand Rapids Rock Alternative, and WGRD.com. Today, uh, the Rockstar Energy Drink Uproar Festival coming to Van Andel Arena. Uh, it, it's so many tour buses, so many bands. People are waiting outside. Three Days Grace, uh, they are on this tour. And you guys, it's only... You've had you put out Life Starts Now actually almost exactly two years ago, uh, like two days short of uh, I think it was what, September twenty second. Yeah, uh, it's practically like a greatest hits collection now because you put out so many singles. Has this record uh, done everything that you expected it to do? Uh, yeah, man, we've we've been having a you know we've we've been touring for two years on it, and uh, yeah, we're pretty happy with the record. Um, you know, you can't really expect anything when you're writing music. You're just, uh, you know, we're happy that our fans really relate to it, and it's been uh, it's been fun touring it for sure. Yeah, no, that's absolutely true. It's uh, you know, in this in the music business today, it's it's tough to expect anything, and uh, we're yeah, we're happy with it absolutely. Yeah, and I've been rude. I didn't introduce. This is Adam. This is Brad from uh, Three Days Grace, but. Now, with uh, a new record, uh, it seems like when you look back with a self-titled and uh, 1X, it seems like every three years in a new record. Will you guys continue that trend? Um, every, I'm sorry, you said every, every... It seems like it's been every three years that that's when you put out a record. Every, so is, is that trend still going to be like that? Um, yeah, yeah. you know, it, it's just sort of having to work out that way that we, you know, we put out a record and then we spend a certain amount of time out on the road and then we get home and write the record, record the record, and then it's three years, you know, goes by and the next record's out. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're working on the next record right now. So, I mean, uh, there's, you know, uh, whether or not it's going to be another year until it comes out, I don't think so. But, uh, so it might be a shorter period this time around, not, but, uh we're working on a new record now, and we're almost there, so we'll see what happens. Will there be a particular theme? It seems like with Life Starts Now, it had a little bit more of a positive note than previous albums. Is that Will that be something that will continue? Well, I mean, it, I think it was a bit, you know, it, it, it was a bit positive, maybe in the sense that we were trying to look at the world in a different way just because we had been through a lot of different things, and we, we just sort of realized that, uh, you know, like Life Starts Now, and it just, you know, in general, is just sort of about... For us, it, it meant you know living you know living life on life's terms. You know you can't really change what happens in life, and and uh, so we tried to look at it in a in a in a in somewhat of a positive light. And um, but you know all our music always comes from emotion, whether it's uh, whether it, whether it's whether it's you know negative emotion or, or positive emotion. So there's always you know there's always something to write about. You know no matter how good things look on the outside, there's always something that you know that that for me and the the guys the other guys I, I i think we need to get out we need to express that's what we do that's you know why we do what we do you know what i mean so yeah so i think that the, the the emotion that we have is always gonna sort of be there you know even with the band name uh, it just seems like to have that uh emotional attachment like because it it was like i think if i'm read from previous interviews that uh it was just if you have only three days left what would you do right is, isn't that how uh the band name was came up with yeah, pretty much, man. It's uh, you know, it stands for a sense of urgency. It's uh, you know, it's that urgent feeling of you know, if you have to change things in three days, you know, could you do it? You know, and it's kind of matches our music too, so it's cool. When you guys uh, actually took off back in, I think it was '03 with the self-titled. Um, that's when really the music industry started taking um, a hit with digital downloads and uh, things like that. Was it? Uh, was there kind of a sense of dread, like how is this going to work? Because I mean, the the industry is not what it was ten years ago. Um, you know, I think we. I don't think we ever had a sense of dread, as you put it. Um, you know, we were lucky enough that yeah, we we ended up you know you know signing a record deal, getting a record out and stuff. Um, just at at a good time. Um, you know, at a good time for us anyway. Just before the whole you know the whole the the, the whole internet thing and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, but we never, we never had a sense of dread. I mean, all we all we do is we write music and we record it and we put it on a record and we hope people like it. it, and it I mean, that's the bottom line. It's very simple. I mean, we just kind of do what we do, and if people like it and they they want to buy it or download it or whatever, that's fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, when you guys uh, decided to tour, is is it just? Um do you ever want to feel like you know what maybe we shouldn't tour this time around like when do you guys take breaks it seems like you guys you've been working this record for like two years straight now 
Yeah, we're, you know, we're, we're fortunate now to kind of pick and choose. You know, back in, you know, 2003, 2004, we didn't really have a choice, and we played two years straight. I think we were home maybe two weeks out of two years. And, you know, now we're fortunate enough to take time off, and we took the summer off, you know, this year. And it's been nice, man. It's been a little bit more chilled back, chilled out, sorry. And we have uh, we have kids, and we have families, and we have, you know, stuff at home. So it's it's nice to do that. Yeah. Um, going back to uh, Life Starts Now, so with the first two singles, um, Break and The Good Life, there were music videos, but with I, I don't believe uh, World So Cold and um, Lost in You had videos. Was that a conscious decision, or is it just something you didn't really have time to get to? Uh, no, I, I would say it was a conscious decision, um, only because there's no real uh, music video stations that play real music anymore. So, um, um you know the the only one out there that I know of really for the most part is Fuse you know and and aside from the internet and stuff like that I mean yeah you could you can get a video out there but it's just uh in this day and age when 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 you turn on a music channel and it's uh and it's Jersey Shore and other reality TV shows yeah it's not it's not it's not worth it for us to do it man you know and it's um you know and music videos are just I mean they're just a video. I mean, we we write music. We don't. We're not. We're not film directors, and we're not actors. We're just we're musicians. So, yeah. uh, with the uh, artwork for a life to st- life starts now, it was pretty elaborate. Um, did you guys hire that out internally, or did you guys know a friend, or was it like some kind of fan contest, or did you Google search? Uh, no, actually, we, we we came across an artist from uh, was it Poland or yeah, uh, and I I'm his name is blanking me now. Um, Adrian from Poland. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, and he, and and uh, we just saw some of his artwork, and uh, he had a really cool concept, and we had, you know, we'd seen it, and we we liked that concept, and we worked with him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until we we nailed down what we wanted, and he was happy with, and uh, that's and that's what's on the record, you know. Now, do people come up to you saying, because um, I'm going to say right now, I actually put Lost in You on a mixtape for a girl recently, and uh, I, I enjoyed it very much. Do people come to you saying, hey, this song made me think of this moment? Do they do that? come up to you a lot about that? Yeah, we definitely get fans. You know, we, we do a signing every day for about 300 people, and it's, uh, you know, every day you get somebody saying, you know, you helped me out. Thank you so much for helping out this way or that way. And it's, it's pretty cool. That's pretty uh, gratifying when you're an artist to have people you know, really tell you how the music helped them. So, yeah, definitely get that a lot. Awesome. Now, you guys are from Ontario. I'm from Detroit, so I've been to Windsor a lot. I try to just spread the love of poutine to everyone. Are you guys fans, and will you just reassure everyone how great it is? Well, yeah, we're used to it because we're Canadian. So, yeah, poutine is pretty awesome. Um, Especially in Montreal, though, that's the thing. You have to, like, if you want to get the real poutine, you got to get all the way to the, you know, you got to, you know, you got to go far east and get it from far, not to the far east. I mean, just not go to, to where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to Montreal and get it there. But yeah, poutine's awesome. It's cool. Awesome. Uh, now, real quick, uh, you said you guys are working on a new record. Do you have, uh, how far are you into, are you actually record, well, I guess you're on tour now, but uh, have you recorded anything? Or is it all writing process right now? Well, it is the writing process, but we record everything that we write. So it's, uh, you know, uh, we're not recording the actual record, but we're recording, you know, the songs that we're writing. And, uh, and we'll, yeah, we're, we're, we're I, I'm just going to say we're like uh, maybe a little over halfway there. And, um, you know, when we get home, we'll uh, take a bit of time and, and then we'll, uh, we'll record the record, you know, finish it off and record it. Awesome. One last question. What cologne are you wearing? It's very intoxicating. Uh, well, for one, that's a very uncomfortable question coming from you. Um, uh, but two, it's, uh, I believe it's uh, Dolce & Gabbana. Nice. Yeah. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much, Adam, Brad, from Three Days Grace, playing on the Uproar Festival. There are, t- I think, 20 more shows, right? Um, you can go check it out on their website and find out where else they're playing at if you want to take road trips, because I know plenty of people do. Steve Kim with Three Days Grace for Grand Rapids Rock Alternative, 97.9 GRD.